gonna be my progress for today. It doesn't really look, I don't know, a whole lot different, I guess. I got this corner kind of cleaned up. Uh, hold 10 loads of junk off, so mostly just brush and a little bit of concrete and such, but at least now I can come over here at the loader and kind of just start blading this stuff back and piling it up. We still got a huge mess right there, but uh, I don't even know if I went over any of this or not. I started cleaning this up in February before we went and tore down the two uh, barn houses and stuff down there. And then uh, we talked about trying to build a shop. Well, <laughs> a whole lot has changed. So we're actually uh, selling this lot to our neighbor right now across the street by our actual shop. He's gonna move some of his semi-trailers. These are actually some he just got. He's got a cardboard and pallet recyclable recycling company. And he's running out of room, so we're actually going to sell him this lot because we've actually found a new shop location on the south end of town like i don't know maybe a half mile from my parents house that ends up being uh four acres it's fenced in and it's got two buildings and then one added on to the back of it but the the one main building can hold four semis with trailers then the other one can hold one i think or two uh we'll go down there one of these days and kind of look we can't get it till november is the problem because there's a company in there that actually rebuilds trailers right now so in the meantime part of the deal with selling this lot is we've got to clean up all this junk so uh we kind of let it go and then after the tornado in 2011 we had a bunch of stuff stockpiled here for some field jobs that never worked out or whatever and then they redid the storm water and that road out there so we let him dump there's like 400 loads of junk here and then we've just over the years we've been dumping hauling off dumping and hauling off and you can tell it uh some of this stuff over here the trash and tires and stuff was not ours and some of this brush so i think some of the neighbors or other people saw it but uh we're getting it cleaned up now so yeah i'm just kind of working on saturdays dad's been doing more of it than i have on cleaning it up and like i said i started in February ripping some of the trees down and I'd meant every time I had the mulcher to come over here and just mulch these trees and try to uh, maybe make a few less trips on there but at least now it's all consolidated so that uh, that area there's actually a big concrete pad underneath all that there was a building there years ago and it burned and then we bought the property there's pretty much trees and stuff up there it looked about like it did without all the piles of junk and then all the trash from everywhere blowing in but So yeah, like I said, a lot has changed uh, from when I was here before. Part of it, kind of, we looked into trying to build a shop here, and this is still inside the city limits, and with the new city code and restrictions, it was going to be a whole lot more expensive to do that, and we had to have like a handicap accessible bathroom and brick and mortar on the, you know, like a third of the front of the building and then asphalt. Well, nobody comes to the shop, but they still want you to build it like people come there, so... We actually found this one's out of the city limits, just right at the south end of town. Like I said, it's an old, it's an old, I mean, the building is not probably in the best shape. There's two leaks in the roof. It's a metal building. One's a metal uh, beams and metal on the outside. And the other one's actually wood framed and then metal. I think it was built in the late seventies or something. And the property has been kind of let go, but it's going to be a lot of grading work and cleaning up. But like I said, there's, 3.99 acres or something in there and it's right south of the highway and it's got a big 30 foot wide gate so we can get in we can actually drive the dump trucks with the trailers and the machines on them because i think there's 16 foot doors or 14 foot doors or something but yeah we'll be able to pull the two dump trucks with the trailers in one bay right behind each other so we have a lot of room we just got a lot of cleaning up and stuff to do so it does come with a great big air compressor too and the entire building is plumbed with like three quarter inch steel lines and uh, air hose pickups all over the place so that's cool uh we'll probably add some more lights like i said do a lot of cleanup but now we'll be able to keep everything inside uh out of the weather and then even have all the attachments and stuff inside and then we'll have tons of acreage out there in the yard I think they've got four Connex boxes that are bolted down. The concrete pads are gonna stay there so we can put stuff in there. And I'm gonna build some bins and uh, you know, for like rock and dirt and different things like that. I'm excited about it because we got a lot of trash at our shop right now that we don't use. And 
it's gonna be a nice clean slate just to get rid of it and move down there and everything can have a spot so but yeah that'll be be a ways i mean i guess it'll be here before you know it middle of november or whatever but that'll be uh, a whole new series to look forward to so we get a new shop we'll just check with you guys on monday